Welcome back to my channel guys, this is your boy Ali. Hope everybody's doing great. For the people that are brand new, my name is Ali and I'm a tech blogger who makes videos about consulting, career development, and other DIY stuff. And uh, if you like any of those type of stuff, hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you like the content. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the most common certifications for a NOC engineer. Uh, NOC stands for Network Operations Center. Now, before I go ahead and tell you what certification that I recommend for you guys, I'm gonna make sure I list that in my description down below so you guys will have a full view of what certifications to go for and what are the certification names that you could go for on each of the website for different vendors. So stay tuned. Certification number one, CCNP routing and switching. Most of you guys have probably heard of this certification. It's a next level certification from the associate level, which is CCNA. Now, if you do go for CCNP routing and switching level certification, then you will learn how to install, configure, and troubleshoot LAN and WAN networks. Now, this will be very helpful when you're actually uh, working on a client's environment and troubleshooting their network and implementing and upgrading their servers. That's gonna be very useful for you to attain that level of knowledge. Certification number two, CCNA security. Now CCNA security, you have to demonstrate the skills that you have acquired, learning different things, uh, especially around security infrastructure, learning how to assess threats, how to um, assess uh, vulnerabilities to the network and how to mitigate risk. There is uh, an oral and a written exam that is required for you to be able to pass this exam. Certification number three, Network 5 certification. Network 5 certification is a very basic networking concept level certification, but if you could pass that, there is an oral and written uh, portion for it. So if you could pass that, um, you know, you could definitely get a job as an analyst or a technician. Number four, Cisco CCNA routing and switching. Uh, this is probably my number one recommendation for the certification. If you are trying to get into the field of networking, CCNA routing and switching is your base level certification that you have to pass in order to uh, do anything in the Cisco world. But this level, level of certification is really good because um, all the core network engineers uh, need to have this level of understanding of how to do subnetting, how to do um, you know VLANs, how to configure uh, trunking and all of that good stuff, right? So uh, there is an oral and written exam uh, for this certification and uh, you know, you just have to renew it every three years, which is not so bad, but definitely you could land a job as a network engineer. Certification number five, MCP, Microsoft Certified Professional. Now this level of certification will prepare you for all the Microsoft based uh, products, technologies and solutions that Microsoft has to offer. Certification number six. This is a security five certification. Again, it's a security level certification, but obviously it's not um, you know, vendor specific. So definitely, you know, go for um, the certification without a doubt. I think it's gonna open up doors for you and help you get inside the knock. Certification number seven and eight are pretty base level certifications. And uh, some of those certifications are much needed to pass in order to attain some higher level of certification. Uh, one is certified network computer technician. Um, of course, uh, it gives you a very good foundation before you start deep diving into all the network stuff. And the second one is certified uh, entry network technician, which is provided by Cisco, uh, CCENT, and I'm sure a lot of you uh, are aware of it. Now, CCENT with a um, combination of another certification, you could attain your CCNA routing and switching. And for more details, you're gonna have to go to cisco.com to check that out. But definitely um, for small enterprises, you know, branch offices and, you know, it's going to kind of teach you overall, like, you know, the network security, how the network works and what kind of different topologies and what are the different types of hardware and what kind of uh, different links, what is when, LAN, so on, so forth. So definitely a good certification. Go for that. I'm going to list all these certifications on the bottom, but definitely if you like this type of content, um, hit the subscribe button right now and make sure you hit the thumbs up as well. And if you have any questions, um, you know, there's been a lot of people who've been dropping some questions in my comments and I've been trying my best to answer them. So if you do have any of the questions as well, please let me know and I'll try my best again. Till next time, see you guys later.